Hi everyone, Chris from Next Step Insurance as we continue our 2024 open enrollment videos. On this one, I'm gonna show you how to compare plans, how to look at them side by side, or even just take the one that you already have. Maybe you like it, you don't really need to look at anything else. That's fine. All right, let's get right to it. So comparing plans, one of the things you might need to decide this year, depending on where you are in the state, is your network more important or is cost more important? Sometimes the cost of your plan might have gone up further than what you can afford. So do you stick with your network or do you maybe look at a different cost um, or a less costing plan with a different network? You might need to decide is cost more important than freedom of choice. On the east side of Wisconsin, there is a carrier, United Healthcare, who has some cheap plans, but they also have a very narrow network and they are requiring you to have a primary care doctor assigned to you and your primary care doctor must give a referral to go see specialists and they have to approve that referral. So maybe it might be cheaper, but is it worth all the extra hoops that you have to jump through? And you might need to decide, instead of thinking the co-pays for what if, what if you're actually using it now? So just gonna let you see, I'm gonna compare those plans. You can pick it before your application or if you complete your application and you really want help, that is what we're here for. So looking up the options, last year there were 136 options in Milwaukee alone. And now there's, and there was 126 options in Sheboygan. They did change that. There's less, but not a whole lot left. There's 112 options in Milwaukee and 102 options in Sheboygan County alone. So while there is less options, all of the carriers are still in our state. We have a great state, we're very, very stable. So if you liked your plan, you liked your carrier, it is still available, but we did get a new one, United Healthcare. So they are now in the mix, though they only cover Aurora and Children's. To look up options, you can use the filters on the left-hand side. So when you first see all the options, it kind of looks like this and there can be a lot. So I'm gonna show you how to look at those filters to help narrow it down. All right, on the left-hand side, you'll see where it says monthly premium max and monthly total deductible. Just leave those alone. If you try and make it little or less, often you're not gonna get the right carriers because, or the right plans, because sometimes they have two different deductibles. So just leave them. It's gonna sort it by cheapest premium. And then you might be tempted to do the add doctors or hospitals or add prescriptions. But the sad thing is they don't work. So just ignore those. I'll show you a different place to go. But for now, the system is just not smart enough and it doesn't ever show it correctly this time of the year. On the right there, you see where it says networks, HMO, EPO, POS, sometimes you see PPO. And the additional filters, easy pricing and eligibility for HSAs. Now, if you truly just want an HSA, that's the easiest way. Click that button, it will only show you HSA plans. The easy pricing, in theory, is supposed to be a little bit easier. It's going to show you apples to apples to apples because every company is required to have what they call a standard plan in each metal category. But you may take an easy one, but there might be for a dollar two more or less a better plan. You can use it, but typically you don't want to. And then the networks, the EPO, HMO, POS, you want to leave those blank. So in case you don't know what those mean, health maintenance or organization, otherwise known as an HMO, is typically the type of health insurance plan that limits coverage to care from doctors who work for or contract with an HMO. Well, what that really means is you can't go out of the network. But in the olden days, when HMOs first started, you had to have a referral from your primary care doctor. Typically in Wisconsin, we've never had to deal with that. Molina was an HMO, Anthem has an HMO, but they've never required those regulations. But like I said earlier, United Healthcare now does. The exclusive provider organization, EPO, and point of service, POS, mean the same thing. You have to stay in the network. There's no out-of-network coverage, but they do not require referrals or a primary care doctor to be assigned. And preferred provider organization, PPO, is typically seen in group health. It does mean that there's in-network and out-of-network protection or coverage. But on the marketplace, if you see a PPO, pay attention to the out-of-network deductible. What I have seen has been $10,000. So it pays, you have to pay $10,000 before the insurance will pay anything. 
And then once you pay $10,000, you then have to pay 50% of the bill forever. There's no max benefit. So a PPO is not actually better necessarily. It just means you can go out of the network, but honestly, you should just pay cash and it'll probably be a better rate. And remember, all carriers have to cover emergencies when you're out of the area. And most of them will cover urgent care as well out of the area, except United Healthcare and Molina, as far as I know. Next, it is gonna show you the options of the carriers on the side. So you can just pick the carrier that you like, maybe the one you're currently in, and then you can pick the metal level. I will tell you typically just ignore catastrophic because that's only for people under 30 and bronze plants. Now those are the used to be the only options where there's a high deductible and it pays nothing outside of your annuals um, and preventative things until you've paid a pretty high deductible. But in recent years, there's now expanded bronzes and they're only a buck or two more and they're a whole lot better coverage. They give you co-pays for primary care doctors, chiropractors, specialists, and more. So when you're um, helping to narrow down your options for the metal levels, just look at expanded bronze, silver, and gold. Those are the different things of what they mean. In theory, catastrophic will be the cheapest, then bronze, and then expanded bronze. But in recent years, we've seen bronze and expanded bronze only be a buck or two difference. So it's really not saving you any money. And if you use it just once, you'll have saved a lot of money if you take expanded bronze. In theory, silver plans should be better, pay a little bit more, have better benefits. But in Wisconsin, we have a lot of $0 deductible plans in the bronze category, and those are so much better. You truly can see what your rates are. There are some exceptions in the silver category if you are part of the CSR, cost sharing reductions, and you would know that because you're already in that plan. Those are available for people with lower income, where they have a lower max out of pocket, lower deductibles, and lower co-pays. And then gold, again, in theory, you should be able to just pay a higher premium and get lots of good benefits. But most of them have the same out of pocket as a bronze. So why pay $800 for a gold plan when you can pay $200 for a bronze plan if your max out of pocket is the same? You're not really saving anything. There's a few exceptions and those people are usually in them, but not very many people take the gold plan because it's not really worth it. You pay a lot to have the same max out of pocket. So when you're looking up your options, it's gonna look something like this. You're gonna narrow it down with a carrier and then you're just gonna pick your metal level. Next, just remember all the carriers that were here last year are still here and we added United Healthcare. So we have a lot of options in our area. And it's kind of exciting, honestly. There's some states where they only have like one carrier per county, and we have at least two. And so most carrier, most counties have three. All right. Once you see the plans that you kind of like, if you want to compare them, on the left, there's a tiny button that says compare. Just check that. That'll give you the quick comparison. You can actually put five plans next to each other. And then at the bottom on the right there, compare. And it looks like this. You should have seen this before, especially if you've been in our office or done a Zoom, because we this is how we compare the plans. You can look right across, see the deductibles, see the premiums, um, see the network type, co-pays for primary and specialists. And if from this plan comparison sheet, you know what you want, all you have to do is click add to cart. There you go, you're done, add to cart, and then you continue walking through the application. Now, if you want a little bit more details and you want to see a little bit more details of specific plans, at the bottom of that comparison page is something that says plan details or even right on that first page, plan details. That'll take you to this screen and you can scroll through and you can see exactly what you would be charged for primary care visits, co-pays for generic prescriptions and brand drugs, as well as ER visits, urgent care and more. If that's all you need, you can just add to cart and continue. If you want to check to make sure your doctor's in the network, this is where you would do it. It will take you to the carrier's website directly where you can search it. But if you're going to stay with the same carrier you've had before, you do not need to do this. If your doctor was in it last year, they're in it this year. The state of Wisconsin does not have lots of options where doctors can move out. If they cover, if an insurance company covers Aurora, it's every doctor in Aurora. 
If they cover Prevea, it covers every doctor in Prevea. If it covers Sheboygan Internal Medicine, it's every doctor in there. So you don't have to search that out, particularly if you're staying with the same insurance company that you had this year. If you're looking up your prescriptions because you're not sure, you can check it here. This again will take you to the carrier's website and you can see if it's a tier one, a tier two, three or four. If you are looking at tier ones and twos, always look and see if GoodRx or there's some other ones out there as well, some other discount websites might be cheaper than using your insurance. But again, prescriptions have not changed. So if it's in a plan that's affordable right now and you're staying with the same plan, it should be the same rate. If you want more details, you're gonna click this. It's also called the summary of benefits. And we're gonna go over that next. But for now, that's how you can compare plans. And if it's really obvious what you want, just click add to cart and you're done. Thank you very much. You guys have made us the number one choice in Sheboygan County for like the fourth year in a row and we really appreciate it. Thank you. Hopefully we get to talk to you soon.